channel and welcome to a very special Halloween themed episode. Um, so this month being October and being Halloween, with the release of Halloween Kills, I decided to go through every Halloween film and watch them all. Um, and here are my reviews, quick five second reviews really. So the first one, Halloween 1978, the original Michael Myers, the opening scene is legendary, like the score is great. The point of view scene with Michael Myers, the characters are iconic. You've got Laurie Strode, Dr. Wimps, and of course, Michael Myers. This is the birthplace of the modern slasher film. My rating, nine out of 10. Halloween 2 came out in 1981. While it does like the tension of the first, it does up the kill count a little bit with a great cast. Um, and the, the nearly empty hospital is a great creepy setting. 7 out of 10. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, was came out in 1982, a year later, um, and departs from the Michael Myers-focused films, um, which was John Carpenter's original intent with these movies, but it just failed to take off. It's a good film, but doesn't have Michael in it, which, you know, for me, I love Michael. He's great. He's a great character. Give this one 6 out of 10. Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, 1988. Title says it all, Michael Myers comes back. Now this is, there is less tension in this one. It is more slashery and stabby. Um, Michael is still menacing with some good kills and a great ending with Danielle Harris as the main uh, lead, taking over from Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, seven out of 10 for this one. Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers, came out in 1989. Um, it's not the greatest, it's not the worst. Um, probably the biggest mistake was when they killed off the, the sister from the first one, Rachel, and rep replaced her with Tina. Um, she really got on my nerves quite quickly. Six out of 10 for this one. Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Came out in 1995. Is it bad? Yeah, it really is, but is it good? Yeah, it's got some good points to it. Um, Paul Rudd's great in it. Um, I, I've only seen the theatrical version and, and in that there was some really bad editing and directing, um, but it did have a few decent kills. Like I said, definitely not the worst. Five out of 10. This brings us to Halloween H2O. Now this one completely wipes out the previous films from Halloween 3 to Halloween 6 and takes place after Halloween 2. Um, so it, it is a much better instalment in the franchise. Um, it, it's a breath of fresh air, brings back Jamie Lee Curtis, and it does, like I said, brings it back to basics. Eight out of 10. Halloween Resurrection. This one came out in 2002. Um, not a lot of good in this one at all. And not even Katie Sackhoff or Buster Rhymes and his Kung Fu moves could save this one. <sighs> Trick or treat, motherfucker, indeed. Three out of ten. Terrible, terrible film. Okay, now this brings us to the reboots, which is Halloween from Rob Zombie. I like this film a lot. Like, I have a lot of time for this film. I really enjoy it. Um, overall, it's gets a lot of heat due to exploring Michael's childhood and Michael's background, which a lot of people thought we didn't really need to see. I liked it. I thought it brought more character to it um, and aided in the development of the character. But when it goes from that to more recent times, that's when it really takes off. And Michael is brutal, he is unrelenting. And it's a really refreshing take on the Halloween franchise. So this one gets an eight out of 10 for me. The follow-up to it, Halloween 2, came out in 2009, and look, it's good. Michael is still brutal. Like, he is really vicious in this one and has the same great cast with Daniel Harris, Scout Taylor Compton, Brad Dourif, and Tyler Mayne, and Malcolm McDowell. Um, same great cast, but the whole Ghost of Deborah Myers thing, um, I think this movie does cop a lot of heat for that, and I agree, it, it, it's out of the takes me away from it, so six out of 10. Now that brings us to the recent one. So Halloween from 2018. Um, now this one completely erases 
all the previous installments and takes place directly after Halloween. Well, not directly after Halloween, it's set 40 years later. Um, it's a great film, I really enjoyed it. Michael is terrifying, he is big, he is huge and imposing. Um, I, I really, really enjoyed it and I put it on par with the original Halloween, so I give this nine out of 10. Um, and that brings us up to Halloween Kills. Um, wow, I only watched this a couple of days ago and wow, it it's, takes place directly after Halloween um, with the, oh, like the, the flashbacks in it are really well done. Like I love the addition of um, Samuel Loomis, Dr. Loomis in it. Like that looked like the original Donald Pleasance. Like it was amazing, really well done. And it does flesh out the um, history of the characters a little bit. Um, like it, it would have to have some of the most brutal kill scenes in all of the Halloween franchise overall. Um, I, I thoroughly did enjoy this one. There are a few scenes which did seem out of place. The, the hospital mob scene um, I, I kind of didn't like that. I, I didn't see that as necessary in the whole film. Some of the scenes seem to drag out and I get there, you know, bringing back characters from previous, the previous installment, like fleshing them out a bit more. But look, great performances all around, but it just was missing a bit. Not as good as the previous one, but still a really good film. Um, and like I said, some of the most brutal kills in the entirety of the franchise. So you have it, eight out of 10 for that one. Look, thank you very much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this quick little special Halloween episode where I ranked all the Halloween films. I'm gonna put up my list of best to worst it's right after this, so stick around, you'll see that. But look, thank you very much for watching and happy Halloween.